Wow. So I know I say wow a lot because I replay some of these pizza and PE podcasts, but um, one of the, my big takeaways, you guys, is you know one of my pet peeves when it comes to a leadership quote is when leaders say, it is what it is. I hate that quote. And I can, when I listen to Jamie, I don't think I've ever, ever heard him say it is what it is because he's more about this is what it could be. So use your voice, you know, within your school, within your state to try to push quality health and PE, not only in practice, but into funding as well. And it makes me think about some of the things that are going on in our own district and how many teachers have used their voice, even on our school board meetings, to be able to tell their story. So it's about telling your story and what is happening in your school to try to be sure that a Daniel Hill that he mentioned, who only gets $300 per school year for equipment, some of our teachers get nothing. So instead of just saying, well, it is what it is, and you're waving the white flag, it's about, well, let's tell a different narrative. Let's make it not it is what it is. And that's my thoughts. And that's where I, uh, my task to anybody who's listening to this, reach out to your state board association or your state um, PE, health and PE organization. Get involved with Speak Out Day. Get involved. Find out how funding is allocated. Speak at your school board meetings. So to speak up more. That's that's my message. I guess, I mean, uh, you know, I, I absolutely love the fact that he calls people at um, where they are. I mean, you don't like what I said and you're going to sit here and be a keyboard warrior. Well, here's my number. Call me. Oh, you don't want to call me because what? Because it's not in, in public where, where everybody can see you try to, you know, rile me up. I love it. Here, here's my number. Call me. Here's my email. Call me. When people don't do that, you know that you just you just call them out. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's I like that idea. So for me, one thing that really stood out uh, from from our conversation was the fact that when he was talking about, you know, if your program's not very good, you know, if you don't have your stuff taken care of, then you know anyone can do the job of rolling out the ball, right? Or you know, doing inappropriate activities because they feel like, you know, oh, this is this is good for my kids when in fact it's really not. But when we have that type of PE, why would anybody need more of that? Right. So right. he's saying right. so why would administrators, why would districts support that to say, oh yeah, here's more funding to help your program that's not good. Or right. that, you know, th- that has all these these problems. So having a quality program, getting the training, which I know some of our teachers struggle getting training because they don't get those opportunities, but with social media and all the stuff that's out there now, there still are ways to get good quality PE or good quality professional development. So it doesn't necessarily have to come from you going to. Yeah. And I, I would say to him, uh, cause I think Andrew froze up I mean, yeah. to get that quality PD start with, it doesn't have to be on social media, start with your state association, go to shape America Start by clicking on and educating and learning your, yourself a better about what is ESSA, learning about more um, about the Speak Out Day. So that would be a task, I would say, for those who are listening to this, go and start exploring and reach out to your state organization as well. So Even then, I mean, Kim, the, the fact that I think a lot of our listeners also need to know that with Health Moves Minds, you have an opportunity mm-hmm. to bring in more funding for your program. That will, when you meet up with a, a principal who's not ready to spend school money for you to go somewhere, you can, well, I've raised this much money. I'll pay for myself to go as long as you give me the days off. That's right. And for schools that do not have Title I funding, sometimes they don't have any funding at all from principals. And then our work with Lorinda, a principal here in, in our large urban school district, she is a Title I school. And we worked with her on writing up Title I proposals for PE equipment and for programs. So that's another way too, that if you are at a title one school learning about how to get that funding for uh, using movement and physical education to help achieve some of your school objectives and goals. So, all right, you guys enough, but anyways, my uh, I'm all out. Keith is taking his last uh, bite of pizza. 
But um, really appreciate uh, eating lunch with you guys today and discussing PE. Slice you later. Ciao.